third set to get underway. And up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvez. First delivery to him on the way. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. That's wide, 2-0. and oh. This at-bat sets up really good right here, right? Hasn't seen a fastball yet, but now he gets to count at two balls. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Eaton going back at the track, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Now that designated hitter, Jeff Likely nothing up at third, but he'll step off and look him back anyway. Into the box, Jesse Winker. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. One and one to the Reds' leadoff man. And he misses two and one. Right back into a good hitter's count now after what was a pretty dreadful second inning. He's got to start throwing a lot more strikes. Quality strikes would help too. Winker in front, three balls and a strike. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. Pulled toward right center field. Catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And he is out on the tag. So upsets the former MVP, Joey Votto. Flied out in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now the pitch. First pitch is a cutter looked at, 0 and 1. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. A 1-1 count to the Reds' first baseman. Here it comes. Popped up. Castro has a play. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Bottom of the third now, and next will be the speed threat, Trey Turner. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Swing and a miss that time, it's 0-1. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee, or he was sitting off speed right there. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. And Adam Eaton digging in next. As he'll ground this one fouled off to the left side. A base hit in his first trip. Now a throw over, but the runners back easily. Third inning, already a 3 2 ball game. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's 1 and 1. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. Runner, runner, Turner's runner. on his horse on his way to second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. A runner at second. Nobody out. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. There's Starlin Castro. He'll follow next. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Now at the plate, Starlin Castro. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Hey, two options if you're standing on the bump right now. Have to find a way to punch this guy's ticket or roll a double play. Hit the other way out toward right field. 
Dietrich is there to put it away for route number one. Digging in for his second at bat, Juan Soto. He flew oh, out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. The 0 1. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Galvis. Relay to Votto's in time at first, and it's a double play. Side retired. All set for the start of the fourth, and set to go is the second baseman, Mike Mustakis. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A.B., he went down on strikes. Two and one after the foul ball there. That's bounced foul. It's two and two. One that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Derek Dietrich waits on deck. Fouled off. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. Now batter. So here's the cleanup hitter, Derek Dietrich. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Splitter that misses too low and he's behind 2 and 0 oh now. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Three and one, three and one the count now. Swing and a miss, good pitch, and it's full now. Three and two. Swung underneath that pitch, so he was either trying to elevate the ball or he was expecting a pitch to be a sinker and drop more than it did. The second for one on the first, and it's a double play. The second they've hit into in these first four innings, and there are two away now. So base is empty now after the double play, and digging in is the switch hitting catcher, Tucker Barnhart. Here's the first pitch to him. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. A ball and two strikes now. And it's to 2 and 2 now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And stepping in is the second baseman, Howie Kendrick. The second baseman, Howie Kendrick. Kendrick waiting, now the pitch. High in the air and deep to left center field. Looking up is the center fielder. See you later. Over the wall, a home run.
plate now, Eric Thames, as he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Swing and a drive. This one's deep to right, but that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. The catcher, number 28. Third. Good rookie. Into the box now, Kurt Suzuki. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. A ball and a strike to count to Suzuki. One, one. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Still a ball and two strikes. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Again, a 1-2. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. He's set. Here's the three and two. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. The batter, the first base Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, one and oh. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. One one. Count even at one and one to the Nationals' first baseman. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. I know he's been struggling early, but that pitch right there, well-executed changeup. If he can mix that in, maybe he hangs around for a little while longer. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Castellanos the catch, tagging is the runner from third. And he's just going to try to draw an airmailed throw as he heads back to third now with one away in the inning. Now with the plate, Victor Robles. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Has a look, now the pitch. Change up, a little bit inside, 1 and 0. Hey, this is a spot as a pitcher right now you want to get a little bit greedy. Ideal would be to roll up a two ball. At worst, try to get yourself a strikeout. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Two and one now. Slider can't find the zone here, and he's behind now three and one. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Now the three and two pitch. On the ground is short. This could be two. Galvis has it. There's one. Back to Votto, but it's not in time as they settle for just the one. A speedy Trey Turner digs in now. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. When he's pitching effectively, usually that two-seam fastball is moving quite a bit, but here it's just kind of flat and straight. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. New inning set to get underway, and next to battle be the outfielder, Scott Schepler. Scott Schepler. Here comes the first pitch. Ball, go. No. 
the 1 0 home. Is a fastball that misses. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. And that's over two and one. And the pitch. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The next three, two. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. Nick Castellanos now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Ready with the 0 1. We're in the fifth inning here. 5 2 is our score. Line shot to third base, but the runner is back to avoid the double play. So a runner at first with one man gone, and into the batter's box next, a guy who's developed into one of the big time power hitters in the league, a Eugenio Suarez. Has a look, now the pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Going one. Oh and two, the count to Suarez. No ball, two, two runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Two gone in the Cincinnati fifth, and up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvis. First pitch on its way. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. One off pitch is a splitter in there. One and one. Two runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Loud contact there, but it's well foul. One two pitch breaking ball stays high and misses for a ball that hook stayed up in the zone you can see he struggled with that curveball early he's trying to find that release point with his off speed pitches but to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward full count now full count. now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Payoff pitch one more time. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Eaton going back into the second deck and gone. Now that is designated hitter, Jesse Winter. So now to the plate, Jesse Winker. As he'll take a good look at a curveball that sweeps right across the zone in there for the first strike. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Uh, tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0 and 2 now. Scooped up, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over.
set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring Leading forth the veteran outfielder, Adam Eaton. The right fielder, Adam Eaton. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Right. In there, strike one. Stuff has never been a problem with this pitcher. It's execution and location that has always been his bugaboo. And that's exactly what happened here. I know he's ahead 0-1, but he's finding the harder to play way too often. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. and two. Yeah, that's the spot right there for an 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider in the dirt, especially with the bases empty. Softly hit toward the hole. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Here's Starlin now Castro. Third baseman, Starlin. And now he'll step off quickly and look the runner back. First pitch on its way. Line drive to center field. Oh, and he misses it. But he gets back in time safe at second base. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And standing in the outfielder, Juan Soto. Now a bluff back to second as he'll just hold on to it. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. And he can't track it down. A base hit. Eaton rounds the corner and is headed home. He'll score easily as they extend their lead to two. And he'll scramble back to the bag and be there safely. Here's Howie Kendrick. And he'll take a look at ball one. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. And a fastball runs a bit inside. He's down 2-0. This offense is absolutely feasting on these count leverage situations. If he's going to have any chance of feeling good about his effort tonight, this pitcher has got to get back in the strike zone. Here it is, the 3-0. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. High in the air out to center field. Long run for the center fielder. And he makes the play, but this should extend their lead as the runner tags from third. And they're not going to get him at third base either. It's a sack fly and an RBI. The designated hitter. Number Digging nine. in and looking for more. Eric, Eric Thames. A couple of RBIs hey. for him already and a chance for more here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Lifted in the air out to center field. Catch is made. Here comes the runner from third. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. So no one on now after the sack fly. And that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Kurt Suzuki. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. Hey, it's been a little bit of a rough outing for this guy in this one so far. And one thing you can look at if you want to get really picky, less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. To short. Fielded by Galvis. Throw goes to Votto over at first. It's in time to retire the side.
Top half of the sixth about to get started. And standing in is the on-base machine, first baseman Joey Votto. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Rowena Salias takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. First delivery to him on the way. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. Foul tip held on to behind the plate at strike two. Now here it comes. Popped up. Kendrick trying to get there. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Digging in, Mike Moustakis. It was a walk in his last trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Even one and one count to Moustakis. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Soto has to cover some ground, but he gets there, and there are two gone. So now the Reds' cleanup hitter, Derek Dietrich, one for two in the ball game thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Back up the middle. Turner has it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and here comes the first baseman, as Dribble Cabrera. Pitch on the way. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. Going back is the left fielder, and it's gone as they add still another. Victor Robles digging in now. And so take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Fouled away. Wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Trey Turner. A hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. Swing and a liner, but right at the shortstop for the second out. In now is Adam Eaton. He reached on an error and later scored his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Mm, chased out of the zone there, and he's down two strikes. Down 0-2. Maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get foul. The next 0-2. Oh, 
One and two to count. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0 and 2 count. Tough pitch to lay oh, off there, oh. but he did, and it's even up at 2 and 2. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. And there's a base hit on the line. So that knock keeps the bottom of the sixth inning hot. Now batted, third baseman. Starling. Stepping in now, Starlin Castro. Castro. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's working on a one for three thus far. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. A runner on first with two away. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. The next 0 2. Left side. Galvis is there, and he is in there. Now back, left fielder. Wow. Juan Soto to the plate now. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Hit out towards second. He lays out, but he can't make the play, and it's through into right. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded now with two gone. Now batting. The second baseman. Howie. Standing in now, Howie Kendrick. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Digging in once again, Tucker Barnhart. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Swings through it for oh, strike you. number two. Late swing on that curveball right there to run the count 0 2. Don't think he recognized that one too well. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. In now, now Scott Shevler. The center fielder. Scott Shevler. First pitch coming. Here it is. And here's a fastball called for strike one. One strike. And a check swing here, but he pretty clearly broke the plane, and it's 0-2 now. And now a pitch on the way. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Up next to Cincinnati. The left fielder, Nick Castellano. And now time is called, and the reliever is warm out there. Wander Suero comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. Number 51, Wander. Nick Castellanos at the plate now, as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. From the stretch. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Nope, ball. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. The one two. Ball. He went with the off speed two there two. once he got him to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Swing and a liner. Ready with another 2 2. 
And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. And there's his strike right down the heart of the plate, 0 and 1. Ooh, I'm shocked he got away with that one, boys. Curveball right down the middle of the plate. And for him to take that pitch oh, looking, did. he had to be sitting on something else, but he should have pulled the trigger. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. That's inside, ball. Suarez left field and carrying well looking up is the left fielder and that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. The back of the shortstop ready Delphi. to the plate now Freddie Galvis. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Filthy changeup that time, but he's able to make contact, and he'll get another chance. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Great pitch right there. As a pitcher, you don't want hitters to get too comfortable in that batter's box. That pitch in now might set up some pitch outside. The one two. Freezes him. A strikeout looking. It's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Eric Thames. Already a home run and a double for him in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Just a tick behind for a strike. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. This hitter right now looks overmatched with a fastball. I think you go right back to it. Down the first baseline, but this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Here it comes. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Castellanos is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Striding in now for the Nats, Kurt Suzuki. He got on top of one and was a ground down victim last time. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a line drive. But a foul ball. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. Down the third baseline. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. The back. The first base hit. Andrew Andrew Stevenson will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. He's running at first base. Number 17. Andrew. At the plate as Dribble Cabrera as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. And he'll be trying to replicate that home run swing that he took back in inning number six. He's running. Pitch is high. The throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play but he's in there. Runner at second here with one man out. Slapped hard the opposite way. Castellanos is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. So a runner at third. Two men are out. And that'll bring up the outfielder Victor Robles. 
first pitch on its way. This is line to left. Castellanos is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Now the designated hitter for the Reds, Jesse Winker. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Rainey has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 21. Matter. Rainey. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh. Two and zero oh, as this one's taken low. A bouncer to the left side. Turner loves it, and the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. So one away here in the Reds' half of the eighth, and standing in is the on-base machine, first baseman Joey Votto. Set and the pitch. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. And Votto's able to lay off that one as the count turns even to one and one. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one two hit out towards second and that'll get on through into center and he's got himself a one out hit. Now that the second base might be done. Into the box Mike Moustakis. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. No hits to this point. That's inside. 2 0. Runner at first here, one man out. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Big fastball is definitely this guy's MO coming out of the bullpen. And he can't no, catch the corner not, here, ball. so he's behind three and one. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a 3-1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle in. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. The batter, the right fielder, Garrett Deeper. So now to the plate, Derek Dietrich, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He's working on a one for three thus far. And a 
good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and stay in this at bat. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. Taylor is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. How about it? Stepping in, Tucker Barnhart. And a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Sean Doolittle is called upon with two out in the eighth as he's asked to complete a four out save. First pitch of the at bat. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. Now the 1 0. Finds the zone, strike one. Hey, that pitch right there caught entirely too much of the plate. Curveball that rolled over the heart of the plate. He's got to pull the trigger on that one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Two down, runners at first and second. Hit down the third baseline. Turner fields it cleanly. On to first, and the Reds' rally comes up short here as that ends the inning. So the lineup flips over, and digging in, Trey Turner has got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. Hey, now. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. Ball two now. Two balls and a strike. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking changeup. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Line drive to left. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. The center field, number three, Michael A. Taylor. In now, Michael Taylor started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. 1 0. -oh. 2 0 -oh to the oh. national center fielder. No one out with a runner at second. Two balls and a strike now. Now the 2-1. Line towards center field. Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. In now for Washington, Starlin Castro. A couple of singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon. First pitch on its way. Look out as this bat shatters on impact. And they'll put the tag on him for the out, but he'll at least get an RBI out of it. So next will be the four hole for the Nationals. Juan Soto, last time through, was a base hit. First pitch of the at bat. And right into the shift. But this is foul for the first strike. Two out, nobody on. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's through first and hustling for second. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. 
Carter Keyboom digs in now. Slow roller down the third baseline. The designated hitter, number five. Standing Eric. in now, Eric Thames. No balls in one strike. He's two for three and looking for more here. From the stretch. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. Here's the catcher, Jan Gomes. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, D-Roll, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there, and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches, and if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long day, and we saw that here this afternoon, a ball flying out at near record pace. Barnhart's there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. Digging in, Scott Shebler. He's one for two in this one. The center fielder, Scott Shebler. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Pink hitting for the red. Number 44. Here we go with one inning ball. number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Doolittle, a rare South Dakota-born ball player. He throws a four-seam fastball, a splitter, and a slider. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Outside, two and one. And now pitch on the way. A swing and a miss there, two and two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. There's one that misses inside, and the count's run full now, three and two. Nicholas Castellanos is on deck. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. Digging in now, Nicholas Castellanos. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. You know, Matty, tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into uber swing mode. He battled. He just got locked up. Look for him to have another quality A-B. I think he's seeing the ball pretty darn big right now. First offering on its way. In there for strike one. Count is even one and one to Nicholas Castellanos. One and two now. One, two. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Two, two. And this misses, and Hudson goes to a full count now. It's three and two. Hit hard back up the middle and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Now that the third baseman, Eugenio. To the plate now, Eugenio Suarez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 
He rounded the bases on a home run back in the seventh. And a good heater as he just watches this baby evolve in a strike. Runners on first with one down. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Robles waits on it. Two gone. Stepping into the box, Freddie Galvis. He went deep back in the fifth. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Here's one that misses high. It's 1 and 1. Two out with the man at first. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. The Reds down to their last strike. Chopper down the third baseline. Well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Reined in. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. Wow, they were banging on all cylinders from the leadoff man to the number nine guy, the order. They absolutely cruised to a seven run victory. If it were only always that easy, right? 13 to 6. The final score in this ball game, the Nationals brought the bats in this one with 18 total hits. Anibal Sanchez earns the victory on the mound. Anthony DiSclafani gave up a whopping nine earned runs in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Time of the ball game, three hours and 56 minutes. Our paid attendance at Nationals Park this afternoon.